Hey, this is Georgie. Welcome to Georgie's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Hope everyone's having a good day. Again, good weekend. Whatever you're doing. Hope the weather's nice here. It's going to rain again here in the Northeast. Another crappy, rainy day in New Jersey. It's been a whole week of rain here. It's been sucky, crappy. But I'm home, done with work for the day. So doing another collection update. So that's going to be uh, what we're doing today. Quite a large one because I got a lot of stuff. Plus I went to another one of those record... Uh, Show the record show, record riot. So I got some stuff to show from that too. Plus I bought some stuff for the, for the wall back. Back here, some old cheap records. And uh, getting a new Judas Priest album. Finally, it's supposed to be coming today. But uh, before I get into that, my update. I had something funny. Um, if, if you guys were watching, I had that contest uh, last month for uh, my 500 subs. And my uh, Josh Keach from England, he... Uh, he won the contest, and he got the albums I sent them through Amazon. He got them three weeks ago, so it's great. I'm very happy. He's happy with the albums. That's great. But stupid Amazon, I have it uh, on my uh, orders list. They have it listed, which I'm going to put up here in a second, and you'll see how they worded it, which is completely ridiculous, but so I'm putting it up there now, and you can read it, and that's for the two albums. So, yes, it might have been lost in the mail, and another one was likely delivered March 6th. Likely. i never seen Amazon talk like that. Amazon, likely? What the fuck, Amazon? What does that mean, likely? Uh, like, I don't know. It might be there. I mean, how stupid can it be? And they don't keep track of their 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 uh, tracking for their, for their albums or anything or their, their merchandise? Stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, that's doing here or there. We're here for the uh, my update here. But I thought that was pretty amusing, so you got to get a kick out of it. Anyway, Amazon is just pretty stupid sometimes. Let's go on. We got a few albums, a lot to go through. A couple of uh, things I'll go through with how where I got them and stuff. The first one is uh, this one I saw on uh, what do you call it? On oh my god, now S and T Young. He had it. He, had, he showed this album. I think it's a one off from the band called Cabal. Oh, it's really glary today. Sorry. And it's uh, here. Let's get it out of the, uh, the thing here. There's the cover. I'm gonna put it on the screen anyway, but. Cabal, thrash metal band. I'm not sure where they're from, but really, really was really good stuff from this. Um, it's not. It's got like wait, what, three, six, one, two, three, four, like seven songs on here. Really good. Images in Blood is one of the, the opening track. Um, Dark Desires, Past Sins, Chaos. They were just really good thrash. Just regular, you know, nothing crazy, but really good stuff from Cabal. And the album's called uh, Midian. If you can find it, I found it on um, Hell's Headbangers. Really good stuff. So Cabal, one of the albums I got there, really good. And I got some stuff from Nuclear Blast. They had a sale on some of the things. So I got some things. I got another, uh, I got In Time, so I'm enslaved. This one was really, really good. I was heard good things about this album, and it was a fantastic album. It's really got a nice little, uh, you know, old people thingy. But pull back cover. And it's um it's just really a really fantastic album. Again, I'm not gonna go through the, the uh, some of the tracks on this one because sometimes it's just it's just one of the, again, Slave just one of those albums you gotta hear the whole thing. But in times I definitely recommend it if you're into this kind of, you know, Viking black metal kind of thing. It's really, really, really excellent stuff from Slave. So I really like this one in times. So there you go. It's another one I got. And I got um this one. The latest album from last year from the band Cataclysm with Goliath. Another one is really good. Let me get this out of the case too. And the disc is falling out because it's, it's broken. Of course, that, that always happens. But here's the cover. Really cool cover. Really good stuff. Sorry the glare is a little bad. It's a, it's a dark day, so the sun's not coming in here. So the light kind of sucks. I need to, I think he has some kind of light to put in front of me. I just haven't found anything yet. But um, really good album by uh, Cataclysm. Sometimes around the kind of like I have a bunch of them, and sometimes they hit or miss a little bit. But this one was really good. Uh, the title track, Elias, Die as a King, Bringer of Vengeance, The Redeemer, Heroes to Villains. Really good stuff from Goliath. From Goliath from, really good album, Goliath by uh, Cataclysm. Really like this one too. So, different kind of kind of death metal, just a little bit faster and you know in your face kind of thing, but nothing really brutal. Just really done really well. And then I got this on. This is the latest album, which came out in, um, let's see what year this was. This was uh, 2020. And that's uh, Empire of the Blind from Heathen. 
another one. I can take it out of the case, but let me get it out. This one, I'm surprised how good it was. Now, I had the first, their first two albums. I don't have the other one they put out with. Oh, that's better right there. Um, this one was really good. I mean, I've seen Darcy talk about this one. Really excellent album. Left, you know, they, they they didn't lose any anything. I know they have an album before this. So I didn't get it, but they didn't. Leave, they they just left a great um, put out a great album. Let's put it that way. I'm kind of stumbling today, but the Rotten Spear, Empire of the Blind, a title track, Dead and Gone, Blood to Be Let in Black is great. Devour, good stuff, Heathen. So yeah, um, Empire of the Blind, great album, Heathen. Um, then I got this one too. Because I heard a lot of good things from last year from people talking about this. And I, I only have one other album from the band. And it's the newest one. They have a new singer for the band for this one. It is, um, what do you call it? Hymns from the, Apoc from the Ap Apocrypha. From uh, Suffocation. Yeah, that's a little better there. Um, it's good. I like the other one I have. I Pierce from Within. So Pierce from Within is the only one I have. It's an old. This is a new singer for the band. Um, not a bad album. I've got to get used to it a little bit more, but I kind of like the other singer better. But it's not a bad album. Really cool cover. Again, I'll take it out of the freaking cover. Again, i got to have it on the screen anyway, but there you go. Really cool cover, though. You're yeah, not bad. i got to listen to it a few more times, get a little more into it, but still pretty damn good. And, uh, yeah. So there, Suffocation. Getting into them a little bit. Thanks to Ron Haggerty. Thank you, Ron. Anyway, there you go. Um, then I got this one too, and I'm almost done with my, my collection from this band. And this one was really good too. It's a little more return to form from the band. This was from 2000. Uh, uh, oh, it just says a re, it's, it's, a re, it's a reissue, but it's, I, don't, I think it's from the 2000, 2000 something, maybe 1990. I'm not really 100%. Tell me, show if you guys know Creator. It's a uh, Violent Revolution. Another really, really good album. Good after Enderama since comes as a great comeback for them. I really, really like this one too. Um, the Patriarch, Violent Revolution, all the same, all the same blood. Second Awakening, Get a War, Mind on Fire. Really good stuff from Creators. So I only need one more album from them, and I got the whole, I got all their their studio albums. So great stuff from Creator. Can't go wrong. Creator on, on, on up from there. Really did great albums. And then I got this one too. From them, and this is their band's second album, and it is Blind Guardian. Follow the Blind. This one has two of them. It's got the original album. It's got the um, rem remix version. And I actually played. So I started playing the, the original one. Then I'm like, well, it sounds good. It sounds a little flat. And then I got to, I put the other one on. Excellent. Really good remaster done right. That's what the disc looks like. Really good. The re um, the remix done version of it is really good. So. A lot more, nothing like, more like the first album, more speed metal, but really good stuff. Um, Dan for All Time is amazing. Um, Hall of the King, um, Beyond the Ice, Don't Break the Circle, great. So I do a song, I do Barbara Ann, a Beach Boy song, but I thought this was pretty funny, but the only a minute long, I don't mind that. So Blind Guardian, really good stuff, really happy about this one too. Good album, from Blind Guardian. And then this one is... An album I've seen probably two or three times over the last, God, 20-something years I listened to the Thrash Metal. And it wasn't until um, Eddie from uh, Realms of Metal um, have, showed the new album, Star, I was a little itchy, and I found it. He said the new album from them, and I got the old first two on this one disc, on, on this one set. Morbid Saint, Spectrum of Death, and this one also has Destruction System on it. Here's the back. Got both albums, plus demos on it. Opens up like that. There's the band. And I was like, wow, what am I missing with this band? Really good. Really, the first album was really raw. Really love the first album. Lock Up the Children. Burn at the Stake. Assassin. Damien. It's just a title track, Spectrum of Death. Beyond the Gates of Hell. And Destruction Systems don't slouch either. I like the first one a little better, but still. It's got System Destruction System. Again, Darkness Unseen. Disciples of, of the Disciples. Halls of Terror. Really good thrash. I don't know why I was. I gotta get the now. I gotta get the new one now. So I gotta find out. But more, more Saint, um, Spectrum of Death, and uh, the Destruction of the System. Really good stuff. Really good thrash. Really happy with that. So there's that. And then just recently, I got these three. I got them from uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, oh god, it's just hitting me now. 
not um oh god the names it's escaped me who I got it from. Oh let me says it on here. It's uh god damn it. Why is it escaping my mind right now? It's escaping my mind. It's on here too, and I'm and I can't is this is HM. Not music on vinyl, but it's um Ugh, I can't remember what the hell it's called. It's gonna make me crazy. Well, here's the lo the logo there. H R. Um. Oh Christ, I can't remember the name. I can't remember. I hate getting this camera because I forget everything. I just forgot. My mind went my mind went completely blank. I remember what we're doing it. But throw to you talk about this first album here. And I have this one album on a, on a birth disc. High Roller, that's it. Oh, got it. High Roller Records. That's how I ordered this one. Never ordered from them before. They took like less than a week. It was a really surprise. It was really fast service. So I got three albums from High Roller Records. God, stupid me. Anyway, so I had this album already. And I, I, I have it on the birth disc. It doesn't play anymore. And I kind of forgot what it sounded like. But Darcy showed this one. And it's it's really just an okay, okay album. It's like not horrible, but... And it's uh, the fourth album from Omen. Uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> Escape to nowhere. And besides the cover, it's it's not a bad album. It's it's just got Coben Farr from uh, who play, who sang a Never Neverland for Annihilator, which he does a great job on that. He does an okay job on this one. He kind of screechy with his vocals. Not the best performance, but it's got you know pretty good song. It's not easy. It's good. They do cover of Golden Age Radar Love. I kind of actually skipped that one because that was pretty bad. Escape to nowhere is good. Poison is a great song. Nomads is a great song and. King of the uh, Hill and No Way Out is pretty good. So, but this, you know, reissue. Can't find this album too often. And I thought it was pretty cool. It's got the little, um, here's the uh, thing. It's got the little the lyrics here. And of course, I dropped the CD because I'm trying to do this. Hold on, let me get this out. Got the lyrics. And you get a little poster of the cover. So that's pretty cool. Oh, pick it up. So yeah, so not bad album. It's not a, I mean, I don't know how often I'm going to listen to it, but I'm glad I have it in the collection. Definitely better than what they put out after this, which is absolutely terrible, in my opinion. But yeah, Omen, Escape from Nowhere, I got it, but I'm glad I got it in the collection, so there you go. I'm actually going to pop it back in here since I'm looking at it. And the next one I got, um, I was looking for this one too for a long time, and it's from Jack Star, and it's uh, Out of Darkness, and it's a little slipcase, and here's the... Um, Natural disc. This has Rhett Forrester, who played on um, Riot's Restless Breed and um, Born in America. Really excellent album. He does a great job, Rhett Forrester. He um, passed away a long time ago. I think he was trying to foil a robbery, and he got shot. Pretty sad there. But Concrete Warrior, False Messiah, Scorcher Wild in the Streets, Can't Let You Walk Away, Chains of Love. Really good. Really good album. Really enjoyed it. I was surprised how good it was. But Jack Starr, he was in uh, Virgin Steel. And I have a couple of his other, other albums from the Burning Star Project. But this one was really good. Uh, excellent album. Really recommend it. You can, find, you can get going high roller and find it. Really good stuff. Just regular speed metal. Speed, like, kind of kind of, um, kind of powerish in a way. But really good stuff from Jack Starr. So, yeah. Out of Darkness. Good stuff. Because the love of Red Forest's vocals. Great, great, great job. And the last one I got here for this, well, not the last one, but the last one for this from High Roller is uh, probably the most famous album. I've heard about it forever. And, and of course, I drop it again. Uh, it's not my day today. And it's um, The Rods, Wild Dogs. That's like the newer cover, and I got the older cover in here. Um, this one is really, really good, too. Uh, too Hot, Too Hot to Stop, Waiting for Tomorrow, Violation, Burned by Love. Wild Dogs. They do a cover of You Keep Me Hanging On. That one is kind of stupid. But it's got a lot of great songs. No no Sweet Talk, Honey. The Night List to Rock. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Really good stuff. Actually. The best Rods album I have. I have only two other ones. But the ones two I have. This one. The other ones are just good to okay. This one's really good from start to finish. Except for the one song. You know, Keep keep Me Hanging On. And I thought it was just cool in the, in the album. It's got this, um, it's got a two-sided little poster. 
So that's kind of cool. You get you know when you get some of these vinyl, you get these big posters, and you get nowhere to put them. But these are little tiny posters. You can put them anywhere and put them all together. It is the old cover, and I guess it's the redone cover. So, but yeah, really good at Rods. If you don't know, um, Rock Feinstein, his uh, cousin is not none other than Ronnie James Dio. We probably know that already. But excellent. Definitely recommend this one, Wild Dogs. Definitely heard so many good things about it, and they weren't wrong. A really good album. So the Rods of Wild Dogs. So there's that. There's the end of that. Now we're going to get to the, when I went to the I went to that other record store, the Record Riot, and I saw a bunch of stuff there. Um, I went. I had nothing to do that day, so I thought I'd go. My wife was out, and uh, it was a beautiful day. It was this last Sunday, which is a gorgeous day. And uh, same vendors that were there from the last show I went to, same people. So I was like, oh, I don't got to find anything. But, you know, if I went in, I found a few things. I found four CDs and then four, you know, crappy albums that were for the wall. So I'll show you what I found here. Um, so this one I found is one of the newer, it's one of the newer ones from the band after they had uh, stopped playing for a long time because everyone, a lot of the band died. It was Leonard Skinner. So I bought this one from 19, uh, when I think it's from 2000, 2003. And it's uh, Vicious Circle. And we go there, there on the back. This one at least still has, uh, what do you call it? Um, Gary Rossington on it. It's got Ricky Medlock. And uh, what's his name? I can't read it. It's such a small thing. Powell, the, the, uh, the, the um, piano player, is still in it. This one is the album after Leon Wilkinson, the bass player, passed away. There's a song for him called Mad Hatter, which is really good. And it's got good stuff on it. It's got 15 songs. It's got one song with Kid Rock remaking Give Me Back My Bullets, which I didn't want to hear that. I could care less. But 15 songs is a lot on an album. Um, that's how I like it. It's the opening track. It's really good. All Funked Up is good. Rockin' Little Town. And like I said, Manhattan is really good. And uh, it's got good stuff on it. But the thing is, it's... They were scared of back in the day when they did albums. They, they always had a little bit of that country feel to it. And this one does the same thing, except the fact when the Skinner was in the 70s, country music in the 70s was not like it is in the 90s in the 2000s. Totally different. It's more like country rock song, but not my bag. I'm not into country music either, but um, when Skinner did it on their albums, they just they made it their own. I always just liked the way they did it. So, but, anyway, it's not a bad album. This one of them from 1991, their first one that came out with after after they reunited, whatever, with, with Johnny Benzant, who's a singer, who's Ronnie's brother, Johnny Benzant. Um, so it's not bad. I'm glad I got it. For a few bucks, it wasn't bad. So not as good as, as classic stuff at all, but still not too bad. So I got that, and then I went over to the one the one guy who had like some had metal stuff, not a lot, but didn't have the stuff last time. I was what I noticed it. So I saw this one for cheap, and I don't know what album it is by them, but it's a newer one. I think it's from uh, uh, God the year. Hey, we don't see the years on here, but anyway, it's a later one from. Death Metal Band, Amon of Marth, or Viking Metal, whatever you want to call it. Deceiver of the Gods. Really excellent. I have three other albums by Amon of Marth. This is by far probably my favorite one. Deceiver of the Gods, As Loki Fails, Father of the Wolf, Shapeshifter, Blood Eagle, We Shall Destroy, Coming of the Tide. Really, really was a good song. Really good album. Like the cover, too. I can't say anything bad, bad about it. Probably my favorite one I have of the, of the four um, Amount of Moths album I have. Really good stuff. So, not disappointed in this one at all. And they also had this one, which is funny. My friend uh, Ron Haggerty from Ron Haggerty's uh, The Vinyl Custodian. He just got this on vinyl. And it's funny, I just found it. I found it. He told me he got this album a couple days before I found this. And it was Testament, Live at the Fillmore, which I've seen this before. A friend of mine had this. It was really good, so I've heard it before. Excellent live album. This is from... Um, uh, from the, uh, what tour is it? The Low Tour. So it's got the, all the classics, The Preacher, Alone in the Dark, Birth Offerings, uh, New Order. It's also got Low, and uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Dogface Gods, Hail Mary. Great live album from Testament. Really like this one. I remember from back in the day. Great stuff, great stuff. So there you go, Testament, Live at the Fillmore. And the last CD I'm going to show you is one I wasn't, Gonna get this. I saw it cheap. I found it for cheap. So I wasn't too thrilled about getting a bunch of covers, a covers album. But I got it for two reasons. 
One, it was, well, three reasons. One, it was kind of cheap. And second, it's Ace Freely, one of my favorite guitar players of all time. It's Origins Volume 1. And uh, really not a, really isn't bad. And I kind of wanted it because uh, they do um, Fire and Water with Paul Stanley. Sings it and plays guitar on it. So it's got, you've got half a kiss on here. I mean, you've had half a kiss forever with Paul and Gene. Now you got at least one song with, with Paul and, and Ace. You've got half a kiss. Even though it's a cover song, there's still half a kiss, in my opinion. But um, you do White Room from Cream, what, Street, Street Fighting Man. Spanish Castle Magic, not bad. And Fire and Water is good. Emerald is the Thin Lisa song. Don't really care for that one. Bring It On Home is another one that's okay. Wild Things okay. They redo Parasite and Cold Gin. Magic Carpet Ride. Lita Ford is on one of the, Lita Ford is on one of the tracks too here. But uh, they do Rock and Roll Hell, which is on Creatures of the Night, which he did not play on, but he's on the cover of Creatures of the Night. But um, yeah, the Origins Volume One, not bad at all. Really not. Not not disappointed. I'm not going to get the second one. I've heard that one too. I didn't really care for that. It's the song he picks for that. All right. So now <clears throat> that's done. On to the wall art I found. These are all cheap albums. They don't have the greatest. I didn't even look at the really the covers of the albums themselves, but I found this one this is great for wall art. Jethro Tongues. Jethro Tongue. Jethro Tongue. Jethro Tull's Aqualung. So you see it's all beat up and stuff. But it's got the uh got the game fold here. You know, I don't even know what the record looks like. I didn't even look at the fucking record. Yeah, I don't even want to take it back. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, this is, now I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get back in. Sleeve now. But anyway, yeah, I'll go along for the wall for the wall here. You know, great album. I have all the CDs I'm showing you here. But yeah, good stuff there. So Aqualung. This one, one of my favorite albums by this band, and uh, it's not in too bad shape though. And it's Journey, Escape. Always liked it. Journey with Steve Perry. So pretty good deal. So again, nice artwork for the wall. You know, great album. So Escape, I got that. And this one, I saw this one. I was like, this is no cheap one, but I love the album cover. It's so freaky. Ted Nugent, Screen Dream. Love this album, too. It's such a great album. But I love the artwork. It's so bizarre. Ted Nugent's a nut. You know, say what you want, political stuff. I don't care. It doesn't. That doesn't affect me. I just like his music. But I love the cover, so. More artwork, which is great. And then this one was really cool to find. For the artwork, the record's really beat up. But Deep Purple's Burn, great cover. The album, the cover of Sleep is really good shape. I reckon itself is a little, little messed up. But Burn, one of my favorite Deep Purple albums. Cool, put that on the wall. Love that cover. One of their better album covers for Deep Purple. That one's not the best ones, but yeah, you go. So yeah, so that's what I got, the Record Riot thing. And uh, that is it for this update. So hopefully someone liked it. It's a little longer than I usually do, but I had a lot of stuff to show. And anything else you guys got new, tell me what you got in the comments. I guess I'm waiting for the Judas Priest album to come today. So I'll be listening to that, put a review on that one next day or so. And that's it. So anyway, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe and comment. And leave a, and you know, just like hearing from me. Like I said, always like hearing from you. So that's it. We're done with this. And uh, you guys have a great day. And keep rock and metal alive. We'll see you next time.